Well, if you still think self-driving cars are science fiction, think again. People have been using them like an Uber or Lyft in several test cities. So we caught a ride with one of the earliest users of Waymo's autonomous taxi service for a taste of the self-driving future. It's on The Breakdown. Waymo, the largest driverless car operator in the United States, has been testing their service in several cities for the last few years. And after more than 10 million miles of driving, they've invited a select group of people to use the service just as they would Lyft, Uber, or a taxi. This has actually become my primary mode of transportation. Jordan Reynes, a Waymo early rider, has a preview of what you can expect from the driverless car service when it comes to your town. All right, here we go. We'll start with what's probably on everyone's mind, safety. We do have a driver, but he's not touching anything. Does it ever make you feel nervous? Never. You've never felt nervous? No. It's always gonna make the safe bet on when it's able to go. It knows how fast it can accelerate. I'm always pretty confident when it's pulling out like that that it's gonna make the right choice. And its high-tech sensors can see better and farther ahead than any human, catching this red light runner with plenty of time to spare. In a case like this, where the red light runner happened, the car is actually checking all around in all directions all at once, and so it can see when there's somebody coming. Next up, you can expect the same experience each time you ride. Every time I get in, I know it's going to be clean and it's going to be a nice car and I know what to expect and it's always going to be about the same temperature inside, winter or summer. And all cars come equipped for kids. Well, I have a five-year-old daughter and so I don't have to bring my own booster seat. They actually provide a child seat and a booster seat in the back in every single way. Ma. Private vehicle replacement pulls into the last spot on our list. Not having to, you know, put all the maintenance and wear and tear on your car and insurance. Waymo says that 94% of all crashes in the U.S. involve human error and that their car service won't only make the roads safer, it could save commuters money. Using it as kind of a primary mode of transportation recently doesn't quite even add up to a full nother car payment. While Waymo has hasn't officially announced pricing yet, they say it'll be competitive. Getting a glimpse of our self-driving future. Welcome to the future. Feeling really good about this. On The Breakdown.